here's my pick of the top 10 cities in Germany and it's been picked through my travels and I've traveled in these places and uh, I've just experienced stuff and I'm just gonna let you know about my experience in the whole matter so yeah, enjoy by the way number 10 number 10 is Magdeburg I'm really not sure if Magdeburg is really in East Germany or is just at the border towards West Germany but I think it was still part of the old DDR I have to check it to be fair but I think it was still part of the old DDR well Magdeburg has one very good thing about it it's a knot of communications that uh, you can use this to change trains in different directions it's about let's say 130 kilometers from Berlin towards the west and from there you change trains in like three different cardinal points it's a very good knot of communication it's on the Elba it has like two churches that are like a bit more special the rest is pretty much like a, let's say a lot of communal uh, housing projects a lot of this kind of stuff it has a mall of course near the train station but it really doesn't have that much in the way of architecture to be fair okay so yeah but it's a, it's a good city honestly when you change the train towards the other directions just stop a bit in Magdeburg and you will uh, enjoy some of it Number 9 Well, I think I have to put Wernigerode in number 9 Wernigerode It's a city Actually, it's not a city, it's a town It's a small town, about 30-35,000 people and uh, it's situated near the Harz Passif so it's not far from Berlin, it's about I don't know 200 kilometers from Berlin or less and uh, it's situated during this near this massif which is like springing up from the plain like a thousand two hundred meters from the plain and at the at the bottom of this is Wernigerode and Wernigerode has that architecture that wooden beam architecture in the buildings that uh, people are looking for when they're coming to Germany this is what they want to see this kind of town Wernigerode and to top it just near the town, literally near the town, from the center of the town, like 1.5 kilometers to the top of a hill, which it has one of the most amazing castles ever. And the view from the hill is really worth coming to Venigarode, just for the view from the hill, the view of the city at night from the hill, honestly. It is amazing. So I put Venigarode in number 9 here. You can go, you can climb further, but it's small, it has some other things that are not really proper, but it's beautiful, trust me. Number 8. Cottbus. Well, Cottbus, basically, it's a pleasant surprise for me. It's not far from Berlin, it's renowned theoretically for nothing, but it's really, really nice. Architecture is splendid. Everything in the finishes are perfect, and you have a lot of things to do, like the Sprengberg you have the Yuri Gagarin um, monument, and uh, the planetarium, which is like a space exploration center where you can see things that have been done in the past. It's full of, uh, let's say, it's crossed by the Spray, it has a lot of gallery forests around the Spray, and it has. To be fair, it has one of the best parks I've ever seen, not only in Germany, but in the world. So Cottbus, check it out honestly, you will not regret. So yeah, number seven. Number seven is Wismar. Yeah, Wismar is one of those port cities at the Baltic. Okay, you say, so what's the big deal with this? Well, Visma is a real port city. Uh, you can see the seagulls, you can see the people who are working seafaring or taking care of the ships in the harbor. It's, a, it's, a, it's smaller than Rostock, but it has a specific of seafaring. And it has been one of uh, East Germany's 
biggest ports during the, the East German communist regime. And Wisma is really, really like a specific port, like a town that deals only with fishing, seamanship, and the adjacent things. So yeah, we have to go and see it. Oh yeah, so number six, it's Leipzig. Okay, Leipzig is very modern. It's big enough, around 600,000 people as well. And uh, it has um, modern communications, a really impressive train station to be fair, and uh, a generally high quality of life and uh, good services and everything. I would vote Leipzig up on the list, not number six, but there's nothing extraordinary to it. That's the thing with it. There's nothing really extraordinary that stands out. And there's no, let's say, picturesque and nothing that makes it unique in the world. But Leipzig is a good city to live in, trust me. Yeah, so Leipzig go on number six on this list. Yeah. Number five, Rostock. Well, Rostock is a port city on the Baltic Sea. It is around 250,000 people. So it's average to big, let's say. And it has one of the best ports I've ever seen. The marina in Rostock. Plus the traditional buildings in Rostock. All this, let's say, culture around the sea and around seamanship. It's amazing. So, good quality of life, good food, good beer, and the architecture makes Rostock number five. So yeah, what can we do? We have to give number five to Rostock. We have to see it. Yeah, so number four in the top 10 cities of East Germany is Görlitz. Well, Görlitz has been a set for many motion pictures and has a renown, it is renowned actually, to be one of the most pretty, one of the prettiest cities in Europe. It's not very big, it's less than 100,000 people and it's situated on the Polish border and it's actually part of a bigger city uh, that was divided by the new border, by the Oder. It's a city full of cathedrals, a city full of history, well maintained, really pretty and it has like a, another side on the, in Poland across the river, the, the river Nice, not the Oder, the river Nice and that's Korzelek. But yeah, it's worth to see it. And I think Gorlitz is gonna be a big thing in, in the future. Yeah. Number three on the list is, of course, Dresden. Well, Dresden, it's, it's a monument of architecture. From Zwinger Palace to the Elbe, to all the, let's say, the architecture that is Dresden and is in Dresden, you can find in Dresden. So yeah, it is amazing, Dresden. I advise you to see it, it's a must. You have to do this once in your lifetime, for sure. It's only 600,000 people. Well, only, it's quite a large city to be fair, but it really gives the impression of being one of the best places you ever seen, to be fair. Yeah. So, Dresden, number three. Definitely, you have to see it. Ah, oh, yeah. So, number two in the top ten cities in Germany, it's Schwerin. Yeah. Schwerin. A lot of people never heard of this little city. It's not so little, it's about 100,000 people. And it's somewhere in between Berlin and the Baltic Sea coast. So it's like almost half-half, halfway, inclined towards more 
or towards the coast than Berlin. So yeah, Schwerin it has probably one of the best castles I've ever seen so far in my life. And a nice little town, city I would say of 100,000 full of lakes in between. So yeah, Schwerin. I urge you to see it. It is amazing. You'll never forget it, honestly. It's like Disneyland, but live. So yeah, Schwerin. There you go. So yeah, the top spot goes to Berlin. Berlin is still the first in East Germany and in the top three in Germany. In my opinion, it's still the first in Germany, but we digress. Okay, it is the first one in East Germany, definitely. Even though it has a lot of people, it's crowded. It's not so clean. There's a lot of homelessness. There are a lot of social issues. But still Berlin is open-minded, Berlin is acceptant towards people who are different and Berlin has a lot of job opportunities as well. Rent compared to salary, I'm going to surprise you here, but rent compared to salary, it's, uh, it's really cheap in my opinion. If you compare Berlin to other capitals of the world, Berlin is still cheap. Yeah, cheaper than London and Paris, I mean, and Amsterdam, and Copenhagen, and all that part. So yeah, Berlin still gets my top spot. Groceries are cheap, if you smoke cigarettes are cheap. A, a lot of things are like really well done for the customer, and for the person on the street, the average person. So yeah, Berlin gets my top spot of top 10 cities in East Germany. Well done Berlin. So yeah, these were the top 10. So let me know in the in the comments if you want to, of course, if you have something else to include, if you travel across East Germany or you haven't traveled across East Germany, just tell me what I missed or what's your opinion on this matter. Alright, so far so good. So what?